I think for the local residents of St. Augustine, just like the visitors who come here, telling the story of Fort Mose is, is almost transformational for a lot of people. It's so different from what we've traditionally learned. It's so unusual story and, and it makes a big difference in the way people think about the past and uh, the different players in the past. I believe that people's experience, when they experience something physically, uh, it makes a different kind of learning. It, it stimulates curiosity and it makes people ask questions. And reconstructing this fort will allow particularly children and young people to be part of it, to experience it, to go in it, to imagine what it was like. And that leads to curiosity and it leads to wanting to know more and so I think this is really going to change the playing field for our understanding of um, international relationships and black American history in, in the East. I've wondered so much why the story of Fort Mose is still untold because some people who live in St. Augustine do know of course about Fort Mose but at the Florida Museum of Natural History in 1987 to 1989, we had a very large traveling exhibit that stayed 11 years on the road all around the country and people were fascinated. But for some reason it didn't seem to enter into the popular understanding of our past or even into textbooks. Uh, I think that's changing. I think also the demography of the country is changing. People might be more ready for that story, but also having a place, a sense of place here where you can visit and be part of it is going to really change things. I'm sure there'll be an increase in visitors here once the reconstruction is completed, uh, particularly school groups, which is one of the goals because there'll be uh, something to see. People will talk about it and there'll be images of it on media. And so that, that should make a big difference.